Before I start the video, I want to thank you for the 20,000 subscribers. And I would ask if you have any ideas for the next videos, write them in the comments. Thank you very much. Who would win in a fight? A great white shark or a saltwater crocodile? The legendary great white shark is a cartilaginous fish that has caused fear and admiration for many years. It is considered one of the biggest predators of the oceans and the fiercest, but there is more imagination than truth in this sentence. Crocodiles are large reptiles found in tropical regions of Africa, Asia, the Americas and Australia. They are members of the order Crocodilia, which also includes caimans, gharials and alligators. Earth's largest living crocodilian, and some say the animal most likely to eat a human, is the saltwater crocodile. Description The body of the white shark is robust and fusiform, about 13 to 22 feet in length, but the average is 19 feet. Its weight is between 6,600 pounds and 7,500 pounds. Adult females reach dimensions greater than males, which are usually 6.5 feet smaller. It has a narrow pointed snout, two pectoral fins and a first dorsal fin with a triangle shape. The caudal fin is crescent shaped and its upper and lower lobe are long and of very similar size, almost symmetrical. The mouth measures three to four feet wide. It has small onyx eyes and nostrils towards the end of the snout. It exhibits discoloration of the body because while the back is grey or blue, the lower area is lighter. This characteristic gives an advantage when hunting because preys do not notice the figure of the shark, which is confused with the bottom of the ocean. The saltwater crocodile have a body length between 16 and 23 feet and they weigh between 882 to 1,543 pounds, with males being much larger than females. They are grey or brown in colour, and they have a broad, heavy-set body with a large head. Their jaws are strong, and they have short, strong limbs. They have ridges that run from their eyes to their nose, and this is particularly prominent in older animals. Saltwater crocodiles have a valve that seals off the mouth from the throat, and this enables them to open their mouth while they are underwater. However, they cannot eat their prey underwater, as swallowing would allow water into their throat, so they either have to drag their prey onto land or raise their head above the water to swallow. Distribution and Habitat The distribution area of the great white shark is very extended. It can be found in tropical coastal waters, as well as temperate and even cold. It is commonly found on the coasts of North America, from Newfoundland to southern Mexico in the Atlantic Ocean, and from Alaska to southern Mexico in the Pacific. Outside of the American continent, the great white shark dwells mainly in the waters of South Africa, the Mediterranean Sea, Japan and Oceania. There is a substantial population in the Dyer Island in South Africa, and that is why there is a common place for research about their life. Saltwater crocs, or salties, inhabit the mangrove swamps, coastal marshes and river mouths around the top of Western Australia, the Northern Territory and Queensland. They will travel as far upstream as they can swim, often taking advantage of seasonal floods to access areas which are normally too difficult to reach. Saltwater crocodiles are also quite capable of living in the open ocean for periods of time and will cross large expanses of water to reach new areas. This dispersal ability means they are widespread in Southeast Asia, New Guinea and some of the Pacific Islands. Behaviour the great white shark is a fish mostly solitary, although it can reunite with others of its same species. 
He has been seen a few times accompanied by a female or a male, and even in small groups. In their groups, it is likely that there is hierarchical dominance, and the females are in the lead. But among all, large individuals dominate the small ones, and the residents of the group for a long time dominate the newcomers. This shark is active both day and night. Interestingly, they jump out of the water sometimes to look at the surroundings and look for prey. They are not aggressive with their own species, but if they feel threatened, they may bite the antagonist as a warning. Most people expressly fear the great white shark and consider it a man-eater predator. Definitively, it is a powerful, aggressive, and efficient predator, but it has no preference for humans. The attacks usually happen because the shark confuses a person with prey, and as a consequence, they give a test bite. But it is unlikely that it keeps eating once it finds that it is not its usual food. The saltwater crocodile has been thought of as one of the most intelligent and sophisticated of all reptiles. Their barks are a way of communicating with one another. The saltwater crocodile is thought to have four different calls. The saltwater crocodile spends most of its time thermogulating to maintain its body temperature. If they become too hot, they often go into the water with only their eyes and nostrils showing and stay submerged until they are cooled. If they become too cold, they lay in the sun on flat rocks until they warm up. Now let's see who wins this battle. 1. Bite Force Although having a huge jaw, the Great Whites don't have the highest bite force amongst sharks due to their diet. Biting through a seal's skin is very different than biting through the shells of a turtle. There are reports from computer modeling that a GWS is capable of a bite force exceeding 1,000 kilograms based on its jaw and skeleton structure. Australian saltwater crocodiles have the world's most ferocious jaws, snapping shut with two-ton force that makes great whites look toothless. 2. Tooth Type Again, due to their usual prey types, Crocs and sharks have very different types of teeth. A crocodile's prey is typically not only larger than a shark's, but also have much stronger bones and skins. A croc's teeth, therefore, not only needs to be able to tear flesh off the wildebeest through death spin, but also needs to be strong enough to crush the thick leg bones of these mammals. A great white shark, on the other hand, does not need to crunch such bones. Great white sharks tear flesh off their prey by biting and thrashing their head, and their serrated teeth are more mechanically similar to a saw than a dagger. Their teeth are not actually designed to brace huge pressure, as they are replaceable. They have rows and rows of spare teeth behind each visible tooth, ready to replace them in the event they fall off during a struggle. 3. Armor A GWS's delicate skin was not designed for withstanding a couple of tons of penetrating forces. On the other hand, a Salty's prehistoric armor looks a bit more weatherproof. 4. Jaw Size So we have a situation where a great white shark has enough jaw size to bite the body of a Salty but lacks the bite force and the teeth to make it count. The Salty has enough bite force and the right teeth to do serious damage to whatever it can put in its mouth, but its mouth is not big enough for a great white shark. In my opinion, victory goes to the crocodile. A great white shark is most likely to die from missing a fin, but a Salty can live just fine without a leg. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.